And Calypso, this part of the room is where one of my characters is renowned for being placed in Sandersides. Do you know which one? No, I don't know any of your characters. <laughs> What is up everybody? This is Thomas and I am here with my friend Calypso and we are doing a spin on the Real or Fake game with Real or Fake Online Trends of 2023. I don't know the internet like the people who follow me do, so... I am on the internet. Never. Truly, I don't know the TikTok community, Instagram stuff, I don't know those trends, so... I reach out to all of you on Twitter and YouTube community posts to send me prompts to either real online trends that happened this year using hashtag TSRealTrend or trends that you completely made up using hashtag TSFakeTrends. The prompts were all picked up by my friends Dominic and Quill. Hi. Hi. And now me and Calypso will go head to head to decide which ones are which. Quill's gonna hang down there below Calypso for the rest of the video. Dominic is gonna come up and read us the prompts. It's weird having you loom over us. Do you know the muffin? First prop. Okay. Ready. Are you ready? Yes. Light versus dark. Camp versus gritty realism. The media event of the year. Although they should have been enemies, two polar opposites unite the world. Barbara. Barbieheimer. Barbenheimer. Barbie. Barbie or Barbenheimer? Barber. What it was your Bar name? I almost said Barberheimer. Barberheimer. Like Sweeney. We're back to Sweeney. Can you cue the entrance theme, Quill? Oh. Presenting oh. the 2023 <laughs> trend paddles. That trend was real. Drawing two lesbian characters wearing a scarf with the lesbian flag on it. One asks the other where they found such a long bacon, and the other replies, Long bacon store. Is this a real thing? No. There's no way that's a real thing. No. But, but it, uh, internet culture is so absurd sometimes, and especially queer culture can be super absurd sometimes. <laughs> I'm gonna go out on a limb. I'm gonna say real. Nope. That is real! Ah! <laughs> no, 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 no. I need no, to no, know no, what no, this no, is no. about. Oh, I see, because the flag looks like bacon. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> Bacon is officially lesbian now. Oh, Good for them. The next trend, scavenging. <laughs> Cutting open cabbage from the grocery store, recording the findings, clumps of dirt between the leaves, on rare occasions, small bugs or snails, and giving the total findings, AKA cabbage yield, a score of one to 100. That's amazing, I would do That's that. That's incredible. I would do that. It's so incredibly detailed and concise, but brilliant. I know it's real, because I will do it. And now it's what my And now it'll be and real. And then it'll be real. That's so. one person doing something that's not a trend make. It shall make. <laughs> I'm gonna say no, fake. I think it's really well constructed. No, it's real. That is fake. Yes! That sounds like unhinged cabbage core. Cabbage core? I meant to say cottage core! <laughs> Uh, yeah, cabbage, 2024 cabbage core, let's get it going. Next trend, okay. the egg trend. Parents would take their little kiddos and tell them they're gonna cook or bake together. Without warning, they'd grab the egg as if they were going to cook with it, but instead would crack it on the kid's head. Some of the kids laughed, some of the kids cried, some fought back, but overall it was to see the reaction. I'd do that to my kid if I had a kid. I actually knew this one's real because I've seen these videos. This one's real. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Next trend. Eepy is a new term meme. A shortened version of sleepy. Most commonly is text over cat memes that are in fact very sleepy, or as we should say, eepy. Just a little eepy kitty. That was such a detailed thing, and I know that people have said stranger words for things. I've had to learn what mid and riz is this year. And also, for the longest time, I thought based was an insult. So whenever mm. I saw based on a post of mine, I was like, what am I saying that's so wrong? <laughs> no. That being said, it felt very constructed. Yeah, I'm gonna go with fake. You're gonna go with fake, I'm gonna go with fake. EP is real! That cannot be real. I haven't gotten any of these. <laughs> Next trend. Or not. Being psychoanalyzed based on the old passwords you used as a kid. Oh, that's fantastic. It'd be one thing if it was your, like, username. Yeah. But because it's your password, I feel like it's fake. Because people wouldn't. Oh. I feel like more people wouldn't put that would, out there. Would be less inclined. Mm -hmm. okay. I like it. What a fun trend. Fake. It's fake. Yay! <laughs> Next trend. During custodian appreciation week, some students made fan cams of their school janitors and got them posted on the actual student news website for their school. So it became a trend to make them for custodians and other faculty like lunch ladies. 
to try and get their school to post them by just calling them appreciation videos. That is so cute. Yeah. I don't even care if it's fake. I want it to be real, and if it's not real, it needs to happen next year. Real, real, real. Real, 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 real. So Please. this is fake. No! No, God! But no! I know, I know, I know. But I want to No! Say, I'm so, I'm actually so disappointed right now. Ah, you may. I, I would love that. I want that so yes. bad. Can we start that next year? The Oratrice Mechanique d'Analyse Cardinale. That's really close. Yes, no. Oh, comment down below. Comment How is Dominic's below. French? How's my friend? Je ne sais quoi? Pardon his French. Yeah. A quote taken from the game Genshin Impact, which took the internet by storm with random remixes and dance videos. <laughs> I'm already losing anyway. All right, real. It is real. <laughs> Danalise Cardinal. According to the judgment of the oratrice mechanique Danalise Cardinal. Wow! Okay. Next trend. A bunch of influencers took this test that lets you see which fictional character they were most like. Then they had to dress like that character for 24 hours. Oh. oh for 24 hours? Twist. 24 hours seems excessive for well, a content creator. Well, that's a short. day. I really feel like they would do this. It seems like a prompt where most content creators could get behind it if they don't have to dress for it for a day. I'm just gonna do exactly what you do at this point because you're winning. I'm gonna say fake. 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 <laughs> See, you knew it. You I it didn't know it, but like, I guess just from a content creator standpoint, exactly. 24 hours just heart. seemed like nobody mm -hmm. would nobody would be telling everybody, you gotta do this for 24 hours. Yeah. All right, next trend. Susie Stitch, where it opens on a girl saying that she knows it's crazy that she doesn't like store-bought pesto, and then gets interrupted with a stitch of someone telling the most buck-wild story they've got. What? It was just buck-wild enough? For me to be like, there's absolutely no rhyme or reason to this trend that it had to exist. Well, it's the pesto for me. <laughs> Alright, it exists, All right? right? I, it's I, I think real. It, I think it of course exists. it's Call real. Call me crazy if you want, but I've never liked store bought pesto. I bit a man at a bar last week because um, <laughs> he touched my shoulder. I broke the skin. What is this? The I don't know, that looks kind of dicey trend. It started when a DM posted a TikTok of their D&D &D dice collection lined up on a shelf, and someone commented, I don't know, that shelf looks kind of dicey. People started putting all sorts of dice everywhere. They hid dice in food, put dice in their bags, wallets, <laughs> so they would fall out in stores, replace buttons on shirts and pants with one that looked like dice and someone went as far to get their car wrapped in dice prints so they could say, I got my car wrapped, but I don't know, the paint job looks kinda dicey. This, this is everything I've ever wanted in a trend. I was so close to saying yeah. that. So okay. this sounds like something that would have started on like Reddit or something. This yes. feels like a Reddit thread where people would post, or like Tumblr, like something that's photo based. My reasoning <laughs> is that it's a lot of work. It's fake. Oh man, that's so funny to me. See, you got the hang of it. You did it! Dicey. It looks a little dicey. But now that needs to happen. Next prompt. Yes. Goncharov, a non-existent 1973 gangster movie directed by Martin Scorsese that Tumblr made up. It gained so much hype that people were actually being gaslit about if it was real or not. The greatest mafia movie ever made. That's awesome. Would that have existed on Tumblr though? <gasps> it sounds like the theory of like all bit birds are fake. That was a big thing that started on TikTok. Mm -hmm. So I think they're borrowing off of other trends. I haven't heard of this one either, but it's exact same theory on the opposite. Like on the I opposite, feel like you think because those things because happen because that happens so frequently, I could definitely see this happening and them being just like, uh, yeah, you've never seen that. Like this one is real. Whoa, yeah. really? Yeah. <gasps> Which? Gaslight, gaslight, <laughs> gaslight. I've never heard, what is it called, Goncharov? Gon Goncharov. Oh my gosh, they have a whole Wikipedia. That's insane. Goncharov, yeah. There's a whole history, people got time. Lewis the Jack-O-Lantern, he is popular on TikTok for saying the sentence, I am not a Jack-O-Lantern, my name is Lewis, in kind of a fruity way. Lewis has gotten very popular and got sold at Target, where many employees would even give him name tags. Yeah. This was real! Yeah. I knew it had to, well, first of all, I knew it because your girlfriend is obsessed with Lewis. Yeah. Oh! But also, 
I don't think anybody would have put fruity in the, in the prompt <laughs> if it wasn't like real. <laughs> That's a good indicator. Actually, you know? I didn't even pick that up. I was more just being like, mm, choice of words. But, but great. I do actually know this trend, and I do love Lewis. Okay, what's look? Can I see a picture of Lewis? Oh yes, this is Lewis. Like. I am not a deco Oh. Calypso, I beat you by one. Good. Honestly, maybe that's more of a bad sign that somebody who's chronically online and works online mm -hmm. is only one point ahead of somebody who <laughs> never. is never online. Never. It's not a grand victory, but now we gotta figure out a punishment. Ugh, why do we gotta call it a punishment? We gotta be so hard. <laughs> I'm like, if it's pie, I'm walking out the door. Yeah, I'm yeah. gonna count down, ready? It's gonna be super easy. Ready, one? <laughs> it's not by Quill. We will tell you the name of the trend. It will likely be the song name. Okay. Play the song for you, and then given that information, you have to try to recreate the dance. <laughs> the name of the trend is Benjamin's Deli. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> what are you making? A sandwich. What kind of sandwich? It's got a lot of meat on it. <laughs> what kind of meat? It's like a hot pastrami. <laughs> what kind of sauce are you using? Just like that Thousand Island dressing <laughs> shit. And then I go like this. You want chips? Uh, chips, yes. The, the kettle cooked. <laughs> the harder oh. it is. Oh, oh I can do that. Cute. I think we should all do I, one together for like the ending of the video. Oh yeah, that's you want to? Yeah, sure, oh, that's yeah. fun. Well, it has been real, guys. Thank you so much for joining us for today's video. What other trends do we miss? Comment down below your favorite trends for 2023. I really want to know because obviously some of these blew my absolute minds. Thank you, Quill, over there for making the paddles and selecting Woo! some of the prompts. Thank you, Dominic, for helping with the prompts and reading today. And thank you, Calypso, oh. for being an amazing contestant with me. Uh, both of us need to be online more, I guess. Oh, no. I no. guess. If you're interested in the previous videos, you can click over here. Or if you're new to the channel and would like to subscribe, click down there. That is it. And until next time, Take it easy, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Peace out!